All right, what is up, you guys? The Sandman back out again with another reaction video. We're gonna we can do a little throwback to Led Zeppelin, guys. Achilles' Last Stand, and I, you know, just a disclaimer. I know I'm familiar with this song, the studio version. I have not heard the live version, and it's been a while since I've heard the studio version, to be honest. But I do remember this song as being one of the my favorite Led Zeppelin songs that I've heard, man. Um, I do know it's a very long song. It's a, more of an epic track, uh, but I do know there's some really cool guitar uh little i wouldn't i don't know if i would call it solos maybe like trans transition uh interludes i would say or maybe i could call it some of it a solo i think there's one solo in there but there's some really cool solos here it sounds very epic it's a very um epic sounding track and i know the song's about some journey that actually robert plant or maybe the rest of the band went on I think to the Middle East or something like that, and it's kind of about you know traveling there and interacting with people, um, you know uh, members of royalty perhaps, um, and yeah, that's it. And I know there's a really fast-paced drumming and some really cool like chugging bass going on there as well. But anyway, that's it for me. Let's go right into the live version, um, and I could talk further there. Let's go. I mean, it's two chords, right? It's da 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 da. So it's like, I guess, four chords. But like, it's two chords, little pause, two chords again, little pause. So it's not really rapid fire chord changes, but it sounds so interesting at the same time because he adds little vibratos and he adds like a bass note. He's like da 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 da. So he adds these little things that. Guitarists a lot of times wouldn't even dare add on a live performance. He did just want to keep it, stick to what they think is going to sound good, what it sounds like in the studio and replicate it. But Jimmy Page, man, he's got a taste for adding his own flavor every single time. It sounds really, really cool. Um, you got to respect him for doing that. Just make it sound, add his signature on the instrument. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it. Just like Hendrix does. Love that. Oh man, this Bonzo, go off. Go off. And I want to hear that ascending, those ascending like sixth or whatever that page page is playing as well. But look at that fill. I hear that drum fill is just Woo! 
guy's a machine. Oh, look at that fill. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that adjustment that he makes. I mean, look, look. Uh, a lot of times when Jimmy Page plays those solo, his solos live, man. What I really love about him, you can tell how much he knows about like. He has a balance between just improvising everything and sticking to what makes his solo sound great. Like from what makes his studio solos, where he can craft them and perform them after multiple takes. He has a balance between improvisation, right, making it sound fresh, unpredictable, and sticking to keeping the themes that make the solo sound really good right so once you i can i'm going to replay it at the end of the song once i go through the whole song but what i really do like is that he keeps the main themes and lines of the solo that sound really great but in between he adds whatever he wants but he knows when to come back he, he has a sense of timing to come back to those main themes so he hits all those main themes that make the solo what it is and in the moment when he's performing live he just he has a creative freedom he knows when to exercise the creative freedom to do whatever he wants, if that makes sense, right? Um, so, like, for example, in this, in one of the solos, he's like... Dun, 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 so, before that, right? So, I'll look... Dun, 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 dun. So, before that, he does whatever. Dun, 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 whatever he does. Whatever he did. I'm not going to try to replicate it, right? But uh, in the studio, he had his own little... You could tab it, whatever. Like, um, he has his own stuff that he plays in the studio. This sounded different to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but to me it sounded a little different. But when he was sounding different, sounding different, once you hear the drum cue kick in, he kicks right back into the whatever made a memorable line from that solo in the studio, and he went back into that same line. So he still outlines the exact the parts of the solo that make it so good, right? So, and, and, and of course, you know, Bonzo's drumming really aids in that, right? Because he's so tight, and he... And while he Page goes off into his own thing, Bonzo's drumming, you know, keeps it fresh and keeps it interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like the rhythm section is really, really great in the song. And I love the chugging bass too. That really adds a nice feel to it. It's harder, it's harder to notice in this recording, I think, but I think, you know, it's still there. It's still, it's still a factor of the song. But let's keep, let's keep going, man. Let's keep going. And I love the adjustment he made at the end. There's some timing was thrown off a little bit here, but it still sounded good. You know, it still worked somehow. If I, if that makes sense. 
like that last those last descending the the last notes of the solo i'll i'll cue i'll use my fingers to point out what i'm talking about let's go not this part kind of up tempo yeah he adjusted nicely What was he playing there? That sounded so cool. Hold on. Okay. Here it is. Oh yeah, Bonzo, get it.
<laughs> I love that. I love that. All right, Achilles' Last Stand from 1979, man. One of their later live performances. You know, I see a lot of people reacting. A lot of reactions out there from the 19, the Madison Square Garden show. Um, but, you know, I've seen that this was one of their most viewed live performances um, past, aside from that show, and it was happens to be one of my favorite songs, Achilles' Last Stand, that they've ever released. And I want to see a live version of it for so long. And I've, here it is. I, I've heard it. You know what I'm saying? It sounds amazing. It sounds really amazing, man. The cha the the variations that make it sound so unique. Where it's like, you hear the studio version, you know the live version. Just another ex type of experience as a whole, right? And it's just as good. You know what I'm saying? Very few bands can pull that off, right? You see them. You see them, like, they do things that they want to be different. But, like, you know, the studio sounds more perfect perfected and, like, polished so you just kind of tend to react to listen to studio more but this is a whole different experience the live version for achilles last day and the studio version but they're both great in their own regards but hearing the live version just if you want that kind of different experience a more raw experience i think is what you really got to go for here but yeah man um i love i love the the uh so when it sounds like what what I noticed was the up there's up tempo right during the transition parts it's like dun a dun a dun a dun a dun so like the drums I think was like pushing the pace a little bit and a, and uh, Paige was kind of lagging behind the the drums pushing the pace but Bonzo knew how to pause for just an extra couple half a second and bam it's right back in sync it sounds a really cool effect you know what I'm saying um, it sounds very very nice very raw very authentic feel to it you know what i'm saying performing it live you have the extra extra energy pent up and he's just trying to he's keep it going you know bonzo was in the zone man he was killer fills he was just a machine you can just see it in the video just like and i love how he replicates the guitar fills like you know that part where page is going like and you know there's a fill that bonzo it's like it sounds exactly like the guitar feel rhythm rhythmically so i love how they replicate that you know that's very cool how he does that um and plant's voice is really good you know what i'm saying i know i've heard a lot of, i've seen a lot of comments like uh this is for a lot of bands too not just led zeppelin like you see the band in their prime like for led zeppelin it would be like uh 73 or something I don't know why it's at 70. I think the MSU is 73, right? Or 73 or 75, one of those. But you see, like, the comments, it's like, oh, this is the prime of his voice. This is where his best is sound. It's a shame that he lost his voice, right? I've seen it from Metallica, too, like, on the, from, like, 89 to 92. You see it in all those videos, right? Oh, wow, it's a shame that he lost his voice or he blew out his voice after this, whatever, whatever. But to me, this sounds different, but it sounds unique. Like, it, like, it sounds, like, very refined, you know what I'm saying? It's not overly excessive. The screeching and the, the which is great, by the way, I love it. The screeches and the the this high pitched screams that he does, right? Like he he does those really uh, off the wall type of vocals that he's capable of. But even without them, it sounds so polished. It sounds so very. It sounds elegant. His vocals sound really elegant in this song. You know what I'm saying? It really sounds very nice. Maybe it's just the song of Achilles' Last Stand. Maybe it just fits his voice from this time. But I think his voice sounds phenomenal here, really. I really think his voice sounds phenomenal. I don't think he needed to do anything extra to make it sound, like, really good, to make this live performance be great, any greater than it was. I love how he, like, stayed... He he sang really well. You know, he doesn't do the... He, you don't need the flash, but you need the execution. The execution was there. You don't need the flash. If the execution is really... Perf almost damn near perfect you don't really need as much flash you know what i'm saying um so i love that i really love that um yeah the solos were great what i mentioned about the you know him having a sense of timing when to hit those main parts of the solo i think is really great you know these guys have great chemistry shout out to jpj too man the jpj was a little hard to hear in this mix but once i i tried to like when you hear me see me kind of like squint my eyes and go close to the screen i'm trying to listen for jpj but jpj was going off too man um, I wish he gets more screen time, like, during these live performances and stuff. I wish he gets more screen time, but he's there. You can hear him, you know what I'm saying? You can hear the effect that he has on making page, supporting Paige's sound. You really can. Um, and you can even hear him doing his own little licks here and there. He played, um, 
much the studio recording, but he added some of his own little fla- his own little variations that I like to hear that I did that I like to hear. Excuse me, but it was really good. Um, as far as the song goes, I like I like the the lyrics, man. It's not, it, it's great. It's like going to other another world. You know what I'm saying? These guys went uh, plant and his wife traveled to the Middle East. I love the allusions to mythology. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, they talk about just going on, just traveling through, you know, the sandy, at the landscape, you know what I'm saying, the devil's in his hole, I love that, because it's like, it's a place where the devil would live, right, it's hot, dry, and sandy, but he's in his hole, because you're experiencing it, you're experiencing heaven, basically, going somewhere else, you know what I'm saying, um, so I like the lyrics, you know what I'm saying, but I don't really want to talk about the lyrics, I've already heard the song, so, but this, but, overall, this is a fantastic performance, guys, um, Paige really added, great guitar playing, I love the palm mutes too, the aggressive, really good really good stuff um good fills um but yeah man uh not much i can say i don't want to ramble on too long uh no pun intended <laughs> um but yeah great song man i loved here i'm glad i heard this live performance man it's really really a, a whole nother experience in its entirety so Achilles last damn, Nebworth 1979. Hope y'all enjoyed this reaction to Sandman checking out. Peace.